Hi, dear friends. I'm so honored and blessed to be part of this wonderful event. Hola, amigos queridos. Me siento muy emocionada y honrada de ser parte de este evento maravilloso. Bueno, primero les voy a platicar un poquito en inglés y luego en español. Every Catholic is called to pro-life ministry, and it is up to you on how to discern your specific calling. I will briefly share my family's calling to foster care. I was a single mom before I came back to the faith. I have a beautiful and wonderful daughter, Angela. When I married my husband, Michael, he asked Angela and I if he could adopt her, but only when she would be ready. He didn't want to force it. Angela was 10 when I met Michael. By age 16, Angela printed the adoption papers and gave them as a birthday gift to my husband. Meanwhile, during this time of being married, we were open to life, hoping to have more kids and give Angela as many siblings as God would send. But nothing. We checked with doctors and everything signified that we both were healthy, yet nothing. Until one day at church, we saw a little kid running in the hall and coincidentally, and I do this because I only believe in God incidences. Entonces, este, obvio que Dios en ese momento puso al mismo tiempo en nuestros corazones esa semillita de la adopción. Y una vez mi esposo conoció a un señor que adoptó siete niños a través del foster care. Entonces nos, nos conectó con la agencia que, con la que él hizo este proceso. Oramos con ellos y total que empezamos el proceso para certificarnos para foster care. Although there is a stigma towards foster care and the foster system, honestly, we had a beautiful experience. The Lord gave us clarity and strength to keep moving forward. And shortly after we got certified, our second foster placement was an adoptable baby boy with a bonus package of a baby sister who was expected a few months down the road. <laughs> Quite a miracle because we wanted a boy and a girl. Mateo and Ana Lucia. What a blessing. Cada uno de ustedes de verdad que puede hacer una diferencia enorme en el movimiento Pro Vida. Y esta es una gran oportunidad. Si tú sientes que tu llamado es el foster care, como, re, como lo dije antes, o la adopción, dile sí a ese llamado que Dios te está dando en tu corazón. Abre tu corazón. Ponlo en oración. Escucha la voz de Dios. Solo la voz de Dios. Enfócate a Él. Y dile sí a Dios. Because you, each one of you, can make a difference, a big difference. God bless you all and thank you. Love you.